three five minute rounds contested under Phoenix MMA rules. Last instructions from referee. Round one. Well, fast, nervous, edgy. Good little right hand clip there from Gonzalez. And Rashid throws a big hand, goes right over the top, and Gonzalez has the uh, evasion skills. Yeah, Gonzalez got to try and work his way in. Uh, but he obviously, he's got to find his opportunity, charging forward now. I knew he'd look for a takedown here. This is obviously where he's feel he's going to have a bit of an advantage. You know, but obviously, Mr. Bird is a, a strong, strong competitor. Well, big swinging hands, and uh, Rashid misses. And in comes Diego Gonzalez, pulls his man up against the wire, double leg takedown and throws his man, slams his man down and uh, trying now to uh, land some ground and pound here, forces his way in but Rashid gets his legs up. Yeah, he's trying to create a bit of space here but Diego doing a very wise, like I say, experienced thing, getting his uh, counterpart to, to, to the canvas where he, obviously he believes he has a advantage. Oh yes, he is comfortable on his feet as well, but this way he feels he has a good chance of finishing this fight. Well, Rashid locks him in, closes the guard, closes the space and pulls his man on. But the experience of Gonzalez means he won't stay there for long. So, up against the wire and on the mat, and this is where the chess game begins as these two will try and unpick the locks. Yeah, a little bit of a feeling that process on the floor here. Mustafa really just trying to hold on. Doing a good job of controlling the posture of Diego. Going in for an armbar, maybe. Obviously, Diego very aware, managed to sink his arm out, managed to use that to pass his guard. Going in for a guillotine choke. I don't know if this locked in. It's hard to see this angle. It looks pretty tight. Well, it's submission territory. Has Gonzalez got enough leverage? He locks his man on. There's the tap out. It's a submission. Guillotine choke from Gonzalez. It's all over in the first round. That shows his wealth of experience there. He didn't get phased. He had a good purchase on the neck. Didn't have him in full guard. Managed to get his second leg out. Put him into full guard. Good squeeze. Forced to tap. Well, that's quick work and a short day in the office. you got to love that, haven't you? Rashid walked into that and it was all Gonzalez right from the get-go. You know, Brad, you called it so right, the experience. He just knew where he was going. Two moves ahead. Yeah, he's been around, like I say, he's been around a long time. This is no unfamiliar territory to him, where obviously he knows his ground game is far superior, so he needed to take it there, you know. And uh, as unfortunate for uh, Rashid, he actually slipped over, which caused the takedown to happen. Uh, but then as soon as Diego got one sniff of a submission, he latched onto it, and, and it was a superb professional performance there by uh, Diego, uh, and a great win. Decisive, clinical right on the money and uh, you look at the physiques of these two men and you know Diego Gonzalez of course 33 years of age I mean in all honesty we're all carrying a little bit of spare but you know Diego well for a fighter at this level he's not as ripped and cut as uh, Mustafa Rashid but none of that counts for nothing and you know um, as you've always pointed out to me, Brad, the numbers don't mean a thing. And experience is experience of life as well as fighting experience. I mean, it's such wise knowledge to bring to MMA and the fight game. And you see this, Gonzalez brings both of that, life experience and fighting experience. And it outweighed what Rashid had in physicality and youth. Yeah, I always say elephants not the king of the jungle, you know, experience pays a lot, you know, so Diego has fast back experience and skill. So the official announcement to be made, we know what the result is. The winner is Diego Gonzalez of Sweden and making the presentation chairman of the Phoenix Fighting Championships, the chairman and CEO, Mr. Shahi Yerevenian.